who secured a total victory in governorship election. APC candidate win in all 18 councils. PDP rejects results. Tinubu Ganduji governor's hail victory. And then Nigeria, India to so deep in trade, military partnership. Tinubu awards GCON to Indian Prime Minister. Obasan just comments on Tinubu mischievous, says Afeniferi chief. Above the nameplate, NDDC to pump 1.9 trillion naira into 1,006 uh, legacy projects. How to tackle rising food crisis by experts. Olubadon asks Sultan to continue promoting religious tolerance. Jam begins accreditation of uh, centers for 2025 UTME. On the bottom strip, ABC clears all council chairmanships, uh, chairmanship seats in Ogun. This Nigeria is next. Ondo, how Ai Datiwa is a, of APC knocked out PDP's Agbola to clinch Guba seat. Opposition rejects results. We worked assiduously to achieve success, says Songolu, APC election campaign chair. 3,767 killed, 22,373 others injured in auto crashes nationwide, FRC. Troops recover arms, seize stolen crude oil. Deactivate criminal boats in the Niger Delta. Nigeria and India reinforce strategic partnership as Tinubu confers GCON on Modi. Uh, next is salient times. Reactions as Ai Datiwa wins own Do governorship election by landslide. PDP rejects outcome, calls for review. Go to court if dissatisfied, Tinubu tells PDP others. Plot to capture Oyo Oshun on calls. Dan Duje. Let's build on those state together. Aida Tiwa to opposition parties. NDLEA intercepts hard drugs concealed in food items. Arrest masterminds at MMIA Abuja hotels. Revenue collector crash, uh, crushed to death in Lagos. Labour Party suspends Enugu senator over alleged anti-party insubordination. APC sweeps Ogun. Local government poll wins all chairmanship seats. Opposition condemns exercise. Uh, and then above the masthead, some individuals are frustrating Nigerian government's efforts to end insurgency. CDS Musa. You're peddling economic fantasies. Purge yourself of petty politics on Onuga. Slams Atiku. Continue to attend G20 Leaders Summit in Brazil. Nigeria News Direct is next. Hashtag Ondo Decides 2024. Aedatiwa trounces Ajayi. Others clears all 18 local government errors as PDP picks. Uh, they, this mandate is yours. I won't disappoint you. Aedatiwa hails Ondo people. And then PDP rejects Ondo election results. Uh, alleges or accuses APC of vote by manipulation. Court bars NBC from imposing fines, intimidating broadcast stations. Tinubu confers national honor on Indian Prime Minister. Eighth Energy Summit to address techno technological in innovation in oil, gas sector. Solwant GMD. Next is New Telegraph newspaper. Ondo Guba, Aida to uphold 366,781 votes to emerge winner. That's according to INEC. Court stops NBC from threatening imposing fines on media houses. Um, then above the nameplate, CBN, led, uh, le CBN letters of credit payments fall 52.5% to 506 .06 million dollars. Next is Blueprint newspaper. Let's build on those states together. Aida Tua tells Ajayi others. Uh, that's um, him. That's him talking after, uh, saying, after my victory. Uh, Ghana's 366,781 votes to floor PDP candidates with 117,835. Tinobu, APC, others hail victory. PDP kicks. 2025 budget, MTEF and FSP tax reform bills top agenda as National Assembly resumes. Sultan urges brotherliness, says Nigeria's unity, not negotiable. Keep promoting religious harmony. Ulubad on charges, NSCIA leader. Concerns as Nigeria's debt set to hit for the $5.1 billion in 2024. Over $300 billion investments attracted to free zones 
in January 2024, NESA. Next is Nigerian Tribune. With landslide victory in Ondo, APC says Oyo Oshun next target. Aida Tiwa wins all 18 local government areas, dedicate victory to Akiri Dolu, secures 366,781 votes. Uh, then CUPP go to court, Tinobu tells uh, aggrieved candidates. Also, above the nameplate, Akiyemi Mogalu congratulates Tribune at 75. Uh, also, deployment or uh, development spending threatened as states or contractors billions of Naira. The Punch newspaper is next. Aidatiwa's victory, INEC, PDP disagree over alleged fraud in Ondo Poll. Opinion opposition says election worst in history. And then INEC ABC defend results. Tinubu, Governors Hill, Aida Tiwa. Uh, also, we have um, MPOX vaccination begins in seven um, states today. Next is, okay, on the ear of the newspaper, top doctor strike threatens operations in 83 federal hospitals. Next is leadership newspaper. Elections, CSOs seek improvement on disability inclusion. As Tinubu Buhari, others hail Aida Tiwa's victory in Ondo. We are reviewing governorship outcome. That's according to PDP. Results consistent with our PRVT findings, Yaga Africa. Uh, federal government douses tension, says tax reform to ensure equitable VAT sharing. Nasima petitions federal government over NIBC India's operations. Mina Chief Imam dies at 93. Kebi government denies illegal mining allegation. Ex-NIA DG Zakari, uh, Zakari Ibrahim dies at 81. Rubadu leads delegation to chart President Derby. And also uh, military pounds, uh, terrorists planning attack on troops. Next is First News newspaper. And the last with me, reforming Nigeria's democracy. Obasanjo calls for immediate dismissal of INEC chairman. <coughs> Pushes for reshuffle following election failures. APC's Aida Tiwa wins on do governorship election. Ned, Ned Umwoko calls for ban on foreign currency use in Nigeria. Lukarawa or Lakurawa must be eliminated for Sokoto farmers to survive. Afan chair. Jam begins CBT center accreditation for 2025. On the bottom street, Tinubu leads, uh, Tinubu heads. To Brazil for G20 Leaders Summit. On the poll result, go to court. Tinubu tells aggrieved parties. Well, Lamide, it's next to you. Right. I have with me here the Platform Times, and the big story here is Abbas on job blames Buhari. Tinubu for Nigeria's failure, demand sack of INEC leadership. And uh, the image here, on the state governor, Lucky Aidatiwa. Along with some fellow state governors and members of the campaign council, celebrating the election victory in a situation room in Ondo State. Labour Party rejects Ogun local government election result, alleges Regan vows legal action. And in Ogun State, the government's budget over 200 million naira for local government polls amidst uh, disenfranchisement violence. In Benue, soldiers, four others reportedly killed by suspected cultists in Benue state. Southwest Muslims won Tinubu. Food importation will not solve Nigeria's economic woes. Continue promoting religious tolerance. Ulubadan urges the Sultan of Sokoto. I'm not aware people bought vote on my behalf. Ayedatiwa is reacting as he secures a landslide victory in Ondo governorship election. Some stories on the front page of the Platform Times. To daily trust, President Imam as Abbas Onjo IMF slam Tinubu's reforms, Nigeria under state capture. Ex-president says initiatives confronted by adjustment fatigue, IMF is quoted as saying. On the power outage, small businesses turn to alternative energy Options costly deplete capital. That's according to uh, traders and artisans. 
Manufacturers Association of Nigeria's exporters task the federal government on green electricity. And of course, APC retains Ondo as Aida Tiwa elected governor of the state. The major stories on the front page of Daily Trust, the voice of liberty. The World Bank has uncovered $32 million missing funds in Nigeria's water projects. Court stops NBC from imposing fines, threatening sanctions on broadcast stations. Tenebo departs for Brazil for G20 latest summit. Reduce suffering in Nigeria. Southwest Muslims urge the president. Oshun Oyor are next targets. Ganduje says on APC's victory. Uh, Nigeria's reforms not working. IMF report is quoted as uh, saying. The major story is on the front page of the Voice of Liberty. Let's go to Daily Independent. Under 2025 budget, borrowing $2.2 billion will worsen Nigeria's debt burden. Experts are saying, as they say, borrowing will be stumbling block to economic recovery. Nigeria, India, seal deal on counter-terrorism, maritime security orders. CBN out to look beyond banks and fight against uh, Naira abuse. On Ondo election, go to court if dissatisfied with outcome. Tinubu tells the PDP artists. The CUPP fought uh, the process, says election not credible. This is the worst election conducted by INEC. PDP says APC will remain in power for a very long time. That's according to Ganduje. Aida Tewa waves olive branch, dedicates victory to Akiri Dulu. Meanwhile, Jam begins center accreditation for 2025 UTME. Let's go to Daily Times. The World Bank uncovers $32 million uh, missing from Nigeria's water projects. Tinubu confers GCUN on Indian Prime Minister Modi's sale bilateral deal. After Fintiri, Adamawa will be far better than what it is. The major story is on the front page of uh, the Daily Times. To the Guardian, Leveraging shared history, Nigeria, India to expand $7.9 billion uh, trade ties. That's a picture story there showing the president with the Prime Minister of India uh, shortly after the conferment of uh, Nigeria's second highest national honor on the Prime Minister at the villa yesterday. Aida Tewa retains it as Tinubu tells the PDP orders to go to court. Islamic scholars decry rising sexual gender violence in the north. Lasso CMD seeks a review of abortion laws in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the House is meeting with President Tinubu on tax reform bills. Uh, on the COP29, Nigeria advocates collaborative approach to decarbonization. Some stories on the front page of The Guardian. To the inquirer, Abuja governance structure undemocratic. FCT natives are quoted as saying they want an alternative administrative system and they're saying that the FCT ministers minister are autocrats. 16,614 teachers sit for TRC and professional qualifying exams. Palano is being sentimental. Wiki is saying as regards uh, the judges' quarters incident. Some stories on the front page of the inquiry to the national economy. On fuel subsidy removal, good policy, wrong approach. Any board of economists are quoted as saying, and there's a report here showing Nigeria's role in global exchange. NTAA bans pilots from working for multiple airlines, and Nigeria's domestic debt stock rises to 66.957 trillion in the first quarter of 2024. The major story is on the front page of the national economy to the nature news. Critics one of growing fossil fuel influence at uh, the COP29. Dilemma over climate destiny as the uh, COP29 enters the last lap. Group uh, berates wealthiest nations action on a climate crisis. Well, the major story is on the front page of the Nature News. And finally, in sporting life, on uh, Nigeria versus uh, Rwanda, Eagles go for victory despite securing ticket. Okoye returns, as high as Samuel to start. Osimen set to overtake Odegbami's record. 
Igwavo, not sure of Eagles' future, says, I do not know if today will be my last game. And the NFF uh, promised Eagles 10% of outstanding money. It's interesting. The major story is on the front page of the newspapers this morning, Brian. Well, so it's so clear that uh, Nigerians uh, must have been up to date now with uh, the headlines, what the newspapers are reporting this morning. But then we have so much to talk about on TVC News, uh, TVC Breakfast this morning. Uh, still to come on TVC Breakfast. How credible and transparent was the election?